The name Steinway and Sons stands for tradition, innovation and perfection. And these are only some of the features that make the brand so successful. This also explains why for many the name Steinway is still synonymous with grand pianos and why Steinway pianos are the dream of everyone who's passionate about piano music. A tour of the Steinway factory reveals how much attention to detail, passion and experience goes into every single instrument. Everything starts with the best wood. Naturally grown woods like maple, spruce, pine, babinga, beech and white wood are painstakingly selected by Steinway experts and then stored for up to two years. Continual air circulation reduces the moisture in the woods, allowing them to season naturally. Only after this careful drying process can the production of these fine instruments begin. The Steinway integral case, the so-called rim, is made of up to 20 layers of hard rock maple and mahogany, which are glued together in a single step. In a specially developed rim-bending press, the rim acquires its characteristic shape. Afterwards, it has a rest period of around 100 days, which ensures it maintains this shape for an unlimited time. The rim functions as a sound body and because it's under tension, it has a greater ability to transfer sound. The result is an optimal sound experience in tone and volume. The philosophy of Steinway's founder, Henry E. Steinway, was to build the best piano possible. Today, a large proportion of the work that goes into the instrument is still done by hand. That's why machines have found their way into very few areas of the factory, because they're only used where they work more precisely than humans. For example, in parts production, CNC machines achieve a precision of one-tenth of a millimeter and therefore improve quality and provide greater precision and longevity. The soundboard is called the soul of the piano. It's one of the most important parts of the sound body. Steinway & Sons therefore attach great importance to the selection of the wood. Strips of the finest Sitka spruce are checked precisely for color grain and growth rings and then assembled. Only approximately 20% of the wood ordered achieves this high standard. In principle, the Steinway soundboard works as a membrane. It tapers in thickness from the center to the edges to achieve maximum flexibility, more power and more tone sustain. Together with the glued ribs and bridge, this design feature creates a precisely shaped soundboard crown that ensures durability and richness of sound. Building the soundboard is one of the few secrets Steinway and Sons have kept until today. At up to 180 kilograms in weight, the bell-shaped cast iron plate is the one part of the Steinway piano that is not distinguished by its resonance. Due to the weight and high carbon content, the cast iron takes the tension from the strings. After the plate is processed with the drill and milling machine, the rough material is sanded by hand. And then bronzed. After that, it receives the famous Steinway & Sons lettering, lovingly painted by hand.
Together with the raw iron plate, the soundboard is fitted into the prepared case. After this point, these parts cannot be separated as it's now all about complete precision and individuality. The string line is simulated with a cord and later the height of the bridge set. The treble strings are made from steel and the bass strings have a round steel wire core wound with copper. As soon as the soundboard and the iron plate are mounted, the treble and bass strings are fitted. The fitting of the strings is done crosswise, which allows the bass strings to be longer without altering the case. Longer strings improve the quality of the sound and offer more volume. Approximately 7,500 individual components of the Action Assembly are worked on to ensure that the 88 keys, hammers, supports and strings work together optimally to give the pianist the desired touch. This requires precise weighting of the keys, as each one must have a strictly controlled down and up weight. Here in this department, the employees also regulate the hammerheads and install the dampers to ensure a lasting and consistent tone quality. Their experience and precision work can be found in every detail, making this one of the most time-consuming stages in the piano building process. Most pianos leave the Hamburg Steinway factory with an elegant, ebonized, highly polished finish. The polyester lacquer is applied in multiple stages to achieve a thickness of one millimeter. After three weeks of drying, the surface is polished down to approximately half a millimeter for as long as necessary to achieve an undistorted mirror effect and the characteristic gloss. With the voicing, the instrument gets its own sound character, which cannot be measured, unlike the tuning. Four voices work on this very important step to ensure no weaknesses occur. The voicing is carried out using a voicing needle, which enables the experts to increase the elasticity of the hammerhead felt, which in turn alters the sound of the instrument. The goal is to produce an equal tone quality and character, and of course, the unique Steinway sound. In the final stage, head voicer Wiebke Wunstorf inspects each piano. Only with her approval and after she's signed the key block can the piano leave the factory and be enjoyed by its future owner. Steinway & Sons pianos are usually distributed by authorised dealers. Whenever possible, they like to visit Hamburg to choose their instruments personally. Well-known pianists and representatives of institutions, conservatories and concert halls also prefer to test the pianos in the Steinway factory selection room to make the right decision. In addition to the sound, the touch is also very important for the high demands of a musician. Because no two Steinways are alike and each piano has its individual character, tone and touch, the selection process should not be underestimated. After all, the sound should give joy to its owner for many years to come. <laughs>